Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. Thank you so much for your support of this platform. I truly appreciate you. Let's hop right into this next message. Someone saw a tarot reading and it let them know the truth about a suspicion they had regarding somebody, okay? And they are planning to or may have already pleaded with this other person to do the right thing or to stop doing what they're currently doing because this tarot reading confirmed what they suspected this person had been up to, okay? So let's see what the Holy Spirit emperor was on the bottom. It could be an emperor who's viewed a tarot reading, tarot reading specifically, a message that revealed the truth to him about and the action that someone else has been taking. So what else would you like for us to know about this Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. From you through me at this time, what is the insight and wisdom that you would like for us to receive? They're trying to give this person a chance. I don't really feel like... Well, I'm not going to say they don't have the authority to punish this person for their wrongdoing, but they are forewarning them of what punishment will come to pass if they don't stop, okay? So what else would you like for us to know here, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit. Nine of Wands. They're pleading with them. Damn near begging them to stop doing whatever this is that they've been doing for a while and they've been acting like they don't know what the fuck going on. But it's obvious that something wasn't right with this person. Okay? They just didn't know what was going on. But they have mental clarity now with this Ace of Swords. They have had some sort of breakthrough even about this Nine of Wands energy and what they really be up to behind the scenes. Their mentality the behavior that they participate in, the assault even that they have caused against another, depending on what exactly they have done, okay? Because they, it's really given like this person has been attacking somebody, gunning for somebody, and they always had people thinking that they were not coming for this person but what they were doing was behind the scenes, okay? And there's been some sort of turning point because I'm telling you this Ace of Swords, the truth was revealed to them about what this Five of Swords, Nine of Wands has been doing. They've been causing turmoil for another person. One second, y'all. They've been causing turmoil for, for another person. They've been causing another person to be in the nine of wands. And I feel like that's also who has been saying, this five of swords has been bothering me. This five of swords will not let me be. And maybe people didn't believe this nine of wands at first. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Three of Wands. People were turning their back to this Nine of Wands pleas and cries for some sort of assistance because of what they had been facing, these trials, these ongoing battles that this Five of Swords was causing in their life. But this Ace of Swords has knowledge. They have knowledge and foresight that they may have received from a fire sign, a sun energy, okay? This person is putting an end to this Five of Swords antics, okay? Whoever this Ace of Swords is, they stand on truth. They stand on doing the right thing. They stand on upholding the truth even, okay? Four, four, four on the clock. So they're coming in as some sort of protector for this Nine of Wands because they see the truth. It's been revealed to them. Whoever this sun, three of wands, strength, energy is, 
They pleaded their case spiritually and they pleaded it well. Whatever information they provided this Ace of Swords with, it was very convincing with this strength card. And it has left this person in regret. But it has also made this Ace of Swords realize that they need to get things acclimated the right way where this Nine of Wands can have peace and harmony in their life. And that this cycle of hate towards them will come to an end. Because this Five of Swords ain't going to stop until they are stopped. Okay, a five of swords can be defeated all day long, but they don't know they defeated. They're going to keep going and going and going until they get the results that they want to get. And again, they may never get those results. But they're adamant that they're going to make some sort of pivotal change in somebody's life. And they have been working on this nine of wands. This nine of wands has, you know, They've been persevering, I'll say that. So what has this Five of Swords done that this truth teller revealed, this light worker here, Holy Spirit? What did this Five of Swords do? Page of Swords, some sort of stalking energy here. Star, this is an air sign. They may be in Aquarius, Pisces, Cups. We have the Star with the Ten of Cups. To me, in all honesty, this is giving some sort of Akashic record energy. Like this person was trying to see how the stars were going to be aligned in the future for this Nine of Wands. And they utilized that information to spiritually attack them, to counteract whatever was fated to happen for them with this moon card. Okay? So they were meddling around in this person's Akashic records trying to change their fate in life. This Aquarius possibly, Aquarius Pisces cuss because they got Aquarius and Pisces somewhere prominently in their chart. This is their energy, okay? But I feel like this person was presenting themselves to this Ace of Swords in this manner. Someone who was innocent, someone who was naive even, who didn't or wouldn't dare do anything to hurt this Nine of Wands, okay? Now, this is really given like somebody father or some shit. Clarify, Holy Spirit, and people fathers do be watching tarot readings. Now, look what just came out, child. I'm trying to tell you, Emperor, somebody father then then watch the tarot reading and figured out that they child with this page of cups has been lying. 808, possibly to still remain in this queen of pentacles energy with their father. Okay. Their father probably be taking care of their ass, but their father know the truth about them. They know that their child has been attacking this nine of wands, secretly attacking them, and then acting innocent. Playing the victim, I just heard. Clarify. Like this Queen of Pentacles, Five of Swords, she all over the place. She got Pisces and Aquarius popping out. That's that spiritual energy within her that she's utilizing. And this Queen of Pentacles represents how she's been taken care of up until now. Because this Emperor didn't tell her if she don't stop. The struggle is about to get real. Death to the strength. Okay. And he know that she been lying to him. He know that she been secretly doing something and then presenting herself to him as someone who is about love, who is about healing and helping people and making people feel good. But in actuality, she out here spiritually attacking this nine of wands. Either she's been attacking her on the spiritual realm which I definitely picked that up with this Akashic Records energy here, or she has been collaborating with people on the physical realm. It's given both making secret offers to people to help her stall things in this Nine of Wands life, y'all. <laughs> it's like, what? Okay, 
This nine of wands either has Sagittarius or Leo somewhere prominently in their chart as well, their sun, moon, or their rising, because the, not, the knowledge was revealed about them. But the person who revealed the knowledge, they, they are a light worker. They do have Leo somewhere prominently in their chart. And this emperor even gave them showed them some love somehow. I don't know how he did it, but he, he creatively expressed an offer of love and thank you to this light worker for revealing the truth about his child. Clarify, Holy Spirit. That's what I'm also seeing. Two of Pentacles, because the Knight of Cups is falling right up under the sun. Magician. He didn't know what to believe about his child's action. He was restricted by his love for his child. But this light worker's revelation, their illumination of the truth has freed this man. And he is eight of cups in his child. As far as caring for her, I'm getting that shit. He didn't tell her, he about to tell her, if you don't leave this nine of wands, queen of wands alone, I'm cutting you off with this queen of swords. Okay, because I can see that this queen of wands ain't hurting nobody. The truth has been revealed to me about who is really upright and who ain't. And I'm not going to participate in this woman not being happy. I'm not going to participate in any stress or overload being placed on her happiness her ability to celebrate in life. So you need to plan an exit away from this behavior that you have been executing, possibly even using a King of Pentacles to help you carry out, because that's that Three of Pentacles energy right there. So she's been collaborating with, a, with another person, a King of Pentacles, someone else who can have some influence over this Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands life. She coming out as his match too. Whoever this light worker is, she spilled all the tea, honey. Okay? She told his daddy exactly what his daughter had been doing to cause restrictions for this Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups. And someone has already told this emperor what his daughter was doing and he confronted his daughter about it. But she lied, you know, children lie because she didn't want her daddy to know about this risk that she was taking because if she took this risk, she knew her daddy was going to stop fucking with her like that. Okay, 13, 13. So she did not admit to her wrongdoing when he confronted her about it before, but now that he's gotten some sort of who, so he has solid proof, okay? 1331. This emperor is positive that what this light worker illuminated is the truth now. He done blessed her for it somehow. She don't know it came from him, She, but he blessed her. He ain't send no cash out. He done did something else to help this light worker out somehow, y'all, okay? And now he's working to rectify this situation for this Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, because he know what his daughter been doing. He know the truth about his child. He know the truth, y'all. And she is an Aquarius Pisces cuss, because this Queen of Swords is falling right up under the moon. But this is the energy of this Nine of Wands. The emperor, the father is having more respect for this person. His daughter has been attacking and he had her for his own child. Okay. He want to make amends for this child because whatever else this, because it's a lot with this two of pentacles, magician, eight of swords. Now a lot can entail that energy. So it's a lot that this light worker reveal. Okay. But when he learned how many burdens his daughter had been trying to place on this 
Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands happiness, he was very disappointed, y'all. I'm telling you, he was very disappointed. And he decided he gonna play some pressure on her ass. Cause I'm telling you, he didn't get her, he, I'm really feeling like he get, he didn't have this talk with her. If he ain't had this talk with her, he about to, he about to let her know that time is up. That she need to prepare an exit, a very quick exit away from her efforts to collaborate with anybody to do anything against this woman because he's placing her under judgment. He might have told her this last night or this morning, okay? But she didn't got the message that he's awakened to her behavior. He knows she lied. He knows the truth and whatever details he gave this queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. She couldn't deny it. She could not deny because his facts were too on point. I feel like this woman was shocked. She in her head trying to figure out how her father knows about what she did and the fact that he's even showing love and nurturing of some kind to this other woman. It's fuck, got her fucked up now that her father is working on this woman's behalf, the woman that she was jealous and envious of and has been spiritually and physically attacking. Because he's adamant that he's going to get justice in this situation, that this Queen of Wands will come up out of the Nine of Wands and be in the Six of Wands. Because it's really also giving y'all that this light worker told this emperor that this queen of wands was chosen. Okay, that there was favor over her life. That she wasn't out here fucking with nobody. And she didn't deserve what was she was going through at the hands of his child. And that he, if he know about it and he can help in any way, he need to bring this cycle to an end because he has a direct connection with the aggressor. And he has the ability to ensure that this Queen of Wands gets a new start. Cause whoever he is, I'm telling you, he got some sort of power and authority. And he been thinking about what he was told. He been thinking about the action that he needs to take and what direction he needs to go in. Chariot right behind that. He want to do the right thing now that he has knowledge and wisdom from a very highly regarded council. Okay, whoever this son three of wands is, she don't play no game. She got not all the foresight and knowledge, but she definitely is being divinely guided to see a lot and reveal, you know, she ain't all seeing and all knowing. That was confirmation, I'm telling you. You know, her powers are revered. Okay, that's all I'm saying. That's how he know that what he was hearing was correct. And that's also why he ain't playing no games with his daughter moving forward. Seven of Wands, he ain't playing no games with her moving forward. Because she lied to him. She created a lot of illusions to ensure that she had access to this money. Okay? And got to keep sitting in this posh energy. But her father is realizing that his daughter ain't the divine feminine. This other woman she been spiritually attacking is. Look, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. Look, child. I'm trying to tell you. And this light worker revealed the truth to him. And he ashamed, child. He ashamed that his daughter been out here doing what she been doing. His child been out here like this, child. And he, 111, and he can't believe it. He is hurt. And now she hurt. But she ain't hurt because she feel guilty and has remorse for what she's done. She hurt because her daddy finna cut her off and her daddy is also caping for this other woman okay because now he coming out as he didn't came out as this 
chosen ones match twice, but not in a romantic way, in a way that he is going to defend her. He's going to stand up for her like men should stand up for women that they see are being wrongfully persecuted. If you a man, an upright man, like the energy that this father is in, he not going to stand for this shit if he know what's really going on. And now that he knows what's really going on, he not standing for it. He even know who this King of Pentacles is that his daughter been dating has been a part of it too now. And he don't like him no more. Clarify. What is this? Six of Swords, baby. He want him to move on. He might already been told her she need to get rid of that boyfriend. That boyfriend need to move on to calmer waters because he's participating in you causing destruction for somebody else's life. You don't need to fuck with him no more either. That's what the daddy didn't tell her. Okay? Which the father is right. She don't need to be dealing with no man like that. It's the same thing I say about the women who deal with men and work with them to attack the ex-lover of that man. That's the same thing goes for the, the man who will partner with his new lover to attack her ex-lover or somebody she can't stand. No, we ain't doing none of that, okay? Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else here? Anything else we need to know here, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit. Page of Pentacles. She want to know how he knew. She want to know how he knew who told him what she been up to. But he's keeping that information close to him. She ain't never going to know who the light worker was that revealed the truth about her antics. And he wanted to stay that way. Nine of Cups. And this Nine of Cups also makes sure is him and his energy that he's going to make sure that what he wants to happen in this situation comes to pass as well. Okay? So I'm going to end it here, y'all. I'm going to end it here. I hope this message helps you. I hope it gives you insight and guidance on how you should move forward. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates, leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace, y'all.